What is up guys, Taiki here, and in this video, I'll be going over the major changes coming to Uniswap V3, what that means for liquidity providers, and the three projects that I'm looking at that's tackling uh, Uniswap V3 that could really benefit leading up to the launch in early May. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's get started. So Uniswap V3 professionalizes liquidity provision by introducing concentrated liquidity for capital efficiency. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry, it's like a bunch of buzzwords, but I'll be going over what this actually means uh, right now. So with V2, when you're providing liquidity, you just have to provide the same amount of, you know, both asset pairs, so like 5k ETH and 5k DAI, and provide liquidity on Uniswap V2. And another way to think about this is that when you provide liquidity on V2, liquidity is evenly distributed on this curve, right? So if you think about it, V2 introduced a passive LP strategy where you can just pull uh, ETH and die, and you don't really have to think about what that means. Like it's you're just gonna blindly do it, and uh, the LP tokens will just give you fees. But with V3, the change that they've introduced is with capital efficiency due to concentrated liquidity. So with V3, instead of providing liquidity evenly distributed on the curve, you can essentially choose the price ranges that you provide you want to provide liquidity for. So this is a diagram that the Uniswap team shared where with V2, you know, you have to provide liquidity spread across the full price curve. But with V3, you can concentrate your liquidity between two price ranges. So in this example, Bob is spending less money, right, to provide liquidity, but he's concentrating his liquidity between the price range at 1000 and 2500. And by doing so, he can spend less capital but earn more fees from it, right? This is capital efficiency due to concentrated liquidity. So if you think about it, V3 is going to require a more active LP strategy to maximize capital efficiency and ROI. With Uniswap V2, you can just pull, provide liquidity and just like be hands off about it. But with V3, as the price of the asset changes, so in, in that example, uh, so let's say ETH right now, the price is 2500 So I can currently provide liquidity between the price range two to $3,000, right? But if ETH goes to 5K, well, that two to 3K uh, LP is no longer gonna be generating fees because the you know, price is not there. So I'll have to pull out that liquidity and do a new LP between the price range four to 6K, something along those lines. So another way to think about you know, the major implications is that with V2, all LP tokens are fungible. So let's say I provide $10,000 worth of liquidity and you provide $100,000 worth of liquidity. Well. Like we're all like we're all distribu like putting LP we're all providing liquidity evenly distributed on this curve. So those tokens are those LP tokens are interchangeable. They're fungible. However, with V3, you know we're we're now we're all going to be providing different amounts of liquidity for different price ranges, and these LP tokens cannot be swapped within each other. So these LP tokens are non fungible. And this has major implications on how we provide liquidity and has given rise to new protocols that are trying to tackle, you know, how can, uh, how, how, how can you address this uh, issue, right? Because if I want to be an LP in the future, I can no longer just passively do it. I have to like always manage it, which is going to, uh, which is going to cause headaches and it kind of professionalizes uh, LPing on Uniswap V3. So I'm thinking, that protocols that can automate uni v3 lp strategies can accrue value and no one's really talking about it right i think they're overlooked and i think they're really really undervalued so i think it could be a good way to invest and maybe potentially do like a short term short short to medium trade short to, short to medium term trade so with that being said these are the three protocols that i'm personally looking at and a quick disclaimer um I'm making this video on April 15th, and these teams are publishing Medium articles almost every single day. So depending on when you're watching this, a lot of facts can change. And the second disclaimer is that I own Visor tokens, and I'll be going over why I own Visor above the other ones uh, when I get to that section. So first, Elixir, I'm gonna go over this first quickly because they don't actually have a token yet. Um, they're the first automated liquidity concentrator, or as they claim, and you know, once they release the token and understand the tokenomics, I'll be looking at this more in detail. The second I want to take a look at is X token, and this uh, there are 20 million market cap, fully diluted 860 million, and they have two products that they're not just focusing on Uniswap V3, but the first product that they launched is this idea of X tokens, and X tokens are a way it's like a different form of governance tokens. It's like a primitive, 
where, for example, X, K, and C, A. Um, when you, so when you have a governance token, like you want to stake it and you want to claim rewards and you have to restake it and then you have to vote, which all takes gas, which you know is not ideal. With X token, you can delegate all those tasks to the protocol where you can claim, restake, and vote gaslessly. And how it votes is it, each X token has a mandate. So for this example, uh, this XKNCA is going to vote to maximize stake rewards. It's going to automate everything for you. So that's a pretty cool product. And two weeks ago, they announced uh, a new product for Uniswap V3. Um, and the five pairs that uh, they're going to be launching are you know, three USDC pairs, stablecoin pairs, and uh, ETH pair and a BTC pair. So, you know, this makes sense conceptually because uh, because they're the same asset pair, right? Like you, the protocol can assume that the price is not going to differ from each other. So for USDC and DAI, like this LP can just focus on 0.999 to 1.01 range, which makes sense, right? So it's not, I feel like it's not that novel, but they're tackling this issue uh, throughout uh, through uh, this. And in terms of social proof, um, Hayden Adams actually retweeted um, X Tokens tweets uh, a couple weeks ago. So you know Hayden is actually Hayden is the founder of Uniswap. So you know he's acknowledging that this type of protocol is needed uh, when V3 comes out. And by far they have the most total value locked. Most of this is the X tokens, not the you know Uniswap V3 tokens because you know it's not launched yet. But they, by far they have the largest uh, network effects. Lastly, I'll be going over Visor, and this is a token that I actually own with a 26 million market cap with a $100 million fully diluted. And the cool thing about Visor is that it allows you to mint an NFT vault, right? And within that vault, you can stake single, uh, single side liquidity. So for example, I can just stake ETH into the vault and Visor will just do the LP for me, right? So it's less headaches, it's less transactions, I'll pay less gas. And within the vault, because it's an NFT vault, they have a way where when you're moving liquidity around, uh, all you need to do is provide a signature. You don't have to pay gas uh, with whatever you're doing inside the vault, from my understanding, which is pretty. It's, it's just a pretty neat idea because you know, paying gas always sucks. So this is what a supervisor looks like. I'll be going over what this actually means. So let's say in your visor vault, I stake ETH, and I tell the supervisor that to you know this LP, this ETH for me to generate the highest returns, like right? Like aggregate the best yield for me. And the supervisor, right, for Uniswap V3 will take your ETH and automatically LP your staked assets for you. 90% of the fees will be reinvested and 10% of all fees generated by Visor will be used to buy back Visor on the market, right? And this is gonna occur for the top 15 Uniswap LP pairs uh, as soon as Uniswap V3 launches. So I think this is more novel than um, X token because you know they're focusing on they're not only focusing on stable pairs right because top 15 lp pairs it's going to be like wbtc eth eth usdc wbtc usdc so it's it's a lot more complicated so i think there's going to be a lot more demand for a uh, visor uh, in the future i'm just speculating right and that's that's why i chose to invest in visor uh, and they also have pretty good tokenomics and the single-sided staking aspect is really cool to me. Uh, that's one of the way, the reasons I like Bancor. So how I'm trading um, all these tokens, right? Especially Visor, is that I think that these projects are gonna be hyped up leading to the Uniswap V3 launch. So for me, I'm gonna buy the token now and sell the news when Uniswap V3 launches, right? Buy the rumor, sell the news. Because our markets are so inefficient, I feel like these types of tokens I feel like five days before Uniswap V3 launches, a bunch of crypto Twitter shills, YouTube shills, they're gonna make those exclamation faces and be like, oh, these are the X token, 100X from here, right? Even though all the move has already happened. So that's the way I'm approaching this um, because I don't think these protocols are gonna have a necessarily super high market cap because, you know, they're, aside from X token, these Uni V3, types of protocols are just focused on uni v3 and like providing liquidity and being an yield aggregator for the concentrated liquidity uh, idea and although you know sushi swap and other amms can copy uni v3 and uh, implement you know concentrated liquidity that might increase the value of these protocols but this, for me personally this is a short-term trade that's gonna just 
be taking advantage of market psychology leading up to the Uniswap E3 launch. If you remember, you know, the price of Uni tokens went really high leading up to V3 announcement, and then as soon as it was it was announced, it dumped, right? So I feel like the same can happen to these types of tokens. And you know, the like uh, I always tell myself never marry an altcoin because you know the, for me like the goal is to always stack sats and buy more ETH. So with that being said, here's a summary. Um, the one thing that worries me is that the Pfizer team is anonymous for a protocol that's trying to tackle this big of a topic that's really complex. You know, I, I wish that I could be able to like audit you know their past work and see who they are. Uh, with with anonymous teams, I have nothing against them, but you know it's hard to like audit their actual skills, right? And in terms of comparing XDK and Visor, XDK is a more mature protocol. They actually have you know X tokens, which is a built-out product uh, of smart governance tokens, and now they're trying to create a new product for Uni V3. So in terms of you know longer to be like better longer-term investments, I feel like XDK is it. But for right now, I'm only focusing on the short term. Uh, so. My money is with Visor, which you know, specializes in Uni V3, which I really like, uh, and the single-sided asset staking, like that's really cool. And this is cool because it's like it's like a yield aggregator, right? And they have all the right things like the M NFT vaults that enable gasless signing of transactions. I feel like you know Visor can really uh, catch the hype, I guess. Um, I believe that both projects are likely to be hyped up pre Uniswap V3. I know there are other protocols like Mist and Method, but you know I. In my research, I couldn't really find that much detail on them, so I only focused on uh, XDK Visor and Lixir, which is kind of in stealth. And how I'm trading this in the short term is to buy the rumor, sell the news, because like I feel like smart money accumulates protocols before the hype, and dumb money buys the hype, and smart money dumps to the retail, like the smart money dumps to the dumb money, like when things are really getting overheated and really hyped, right? Before I conclude the video, I want to give a shout out to Noah Seidman or Seidman. And as you can see, I watch all his videos and he really shares really, really good alpha. And I, want to give, I wanted to give him a shout out because he pointed out these tokens in his streams. Uh, he's involved in XDK, uh, Visor, and I believe Method and Mist, I think. I think he's involved in all four. Um, and he really, he really understands the concept of risk adjusted returns. Um, he has a lot of capital that he's working with and he's really shares like the alpha right if you want real alpha i would like really encourage you to listen to him i try to share my type of alpha on this channel but you know i think it's always good to follow a bunch of people with different mindsets because he's more focused on being risk averse and generating income through staking and liquidity providing so anyways if you like the content please like and subscribe let me know what your thoughts are on how i'm playing this uh in the short term um it could just be a protocol that might like 100x from here and like I just only get like a 5x but you know it's good to stick to your thesis it's good to have a plan and stick to it because you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be left holding the bag so yeah if you like the content please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below and have a nice day